Okay, so uh, the, here's another invasive plant we need to talk about. It's quite common, and in fact, it in the last forest inventory completed for the state of Virginia, uh, the Forest Service inventory, this was the most common invasive plant, meaning it occurred in more plots than any others. So that, that was their count. It may, like, if you cut all the invasive plants down, it may not have weighed the most, but it was more abundant in, in being present in a plot than any other invasive plant. And that is Japanese honeysuckle, which is another example of a twining vine. It, it corkscrews like a snake up stems and it's a vine that was brought in for conservation purposes it was a good idea it was good at that <laughs> but that's what makes it so invasive it spreads out and blankets hillsides that's good and wouldn't be much of a problem for a crop tree but it also then doesn't stay on the ground it it climbs up trees and twines around them much like the bittersweet vine and it and it can blanket uh, smaller trees, but as they're trying to become a good tree, it, it kind of ruins their their chances. Now, the Japanese honeysuckle, it is also another example like the privet. It has opposite leaf arrangement. So a twining vine with the leaves in tight pairs. Uh, you are be thinking you're looking for the Japanese honeysuckle. Uh, the bittersweet was a twining vine, but the leaves on the bittersweet are alternating. They're, they don't come out in, in a pair like that. Okay.